Hi everyone. I'm really glad you decided to take your first steps in becoming a power user and learning the geospatial command line tools. This video will give you an overview of the command line interface to the operating system and help you navigate the file system and do the basic file operations. This video is for users on Mac or Linux operating systems. If you're on Windows, I have a similar video that covers the terminal on Windows, so go and find that. If you are a Mac user, your operating system comes with a terminal which allows you to interact with the operating system through a text-based interface. If you are a Linux user, it's likely that you are using the terminal on a regular basis. Both Mac and Linux terminal interfaces are based on the Unix operating system and they follow the similar pattern. So either way, if you are on Mac or any flavor of Linux, uh, the terminal interface will be very similar. There might be a few small differences, but largely it will be the similar. So you can learn the basic commands through this video. So let's dive in. So go ahead and start the terminal application on your operating system. I'm on Mac OS, so I'm going to do command space and type terminal, which will bring up the terminal uh, application and it'll start that. Whenever you start a terminal, it starts in your home directory, so the home user folder on your operating system. If I want to see all the folders I have in my home directory, I can type this command ls. ls is for list, and if I type ls and press enter, it'll show me all the folders that I have in my home directory. The default command is just shows you the list of folders. If I want more details, like what's the type of file, is it a file or a folder, and some more details, I can give some options. So ls space dash l. So dash l is an option to the command ls. And if I type that and enter, you can see now I have a lot more details about the different folders that I have in my uh, home folder. Let's say I want to navigate to one of the folders. Here I have a folder called downloads. Let's say I want to go into the downloads folder. I can type the command cd. cd stands for change directory space. I can type the first few letters of the folder that I'm interested in, and then I can use tab. And once I press tab, it's going to auto complete, and then I can navigate to the directory. Let's see what I have in my uh, downloads folder. I can type ls, and you can see I have these two files inside of that. I have a folder GDAL tools. Let me just further go inside the GDAL tools folder. I'm going to do cd and then GDAL tools. Okay, let's list what are the files inside of that. So you can see I have uh, multiple files. Maybe I'll just list it with some details, so ls minus l. And these are the different folders and files that are contained inside that. Sometimes it is helpful to where you want to create a list of files in a particular directory. So let's say I want to, if I type ls and I have all this output, if I want to send this output to a file and save this to a text file, I can say ls greater than, the greater than symbol says whatever is the output of this command, redirect it to a file. So I can say greater than, and I will say, say list.txt. This will create a file in the current directory called list.txt with the contents of this file. And if I do ls again, you can see now I have this new file created in this directory, which is the list.txt. If I want to see the content of a file, I can use this command called cat. Cat command will take a file and show you what's inside. Let's just show what's inside this list.txt. And that was the list of files that we had created earlier. We also have some other files. So I have a CSV file here. Let's look at the content of this file. So I can say cat worldcities.csv. And if I press enter, this is going to show me all the different content lines that are part of this file. This is a very large file, so uh, it just went through very fast. If I want to just go through this file line by line, I can, uh, there's one more option that we can do. I'm going to press the up arrow key. This will bring up the last command. This is also helpful where you type the command, you want to run it again, or you want to modify it, just press the up arrow key and it'll bring up the previous command. Press space and then enter this pipe symbol. This says, take the output of this command, pass it on to the next command. And the next command that we're going to use is called more. So if I say cat worldcities.csv pipe more and enter, you can see it will pause after one full screen. So one full page and then it's paused at the end. If I press enter, it's going to give me the next line. So it's going to allow me to step to the file line by line. And I, now I can just see this in more detail. Whenever I'm done, I can just press Q or Control C and it'll come out of that. 
So we learned about ls to list the files, cd to change the directory. Uh, we learned about the greater than symbol, which is the uh, redirecting the output to a file. We can, now if I do ls, I have this file. I want to remove the file as well. So if I want to remove the file, I have this command called rm, and I can just say list.txt. And this will go ahead and remove this file. So you've deleted this file here. If you want to create a directory, so there's a command called mkdir. Let's say I want to create a directory called test. And you can see now I have this new folder called test. I can go inside that folder and you can see this is an empty folder. There's no content. If I want to go back to the previous folder, so uh, if I want to go one level up, I can say cd double dot. Double dot simply says go one level up of the directory. So we are inside this gdal tools slash test folder. If I go up, we are now back into the gdal tools folder. If I want to remove this directory, I can use the rm command. But uh, if the folder has some content inside, we have to give this special option called dash r. This is recursively direct, uh, delete the directory, uh, which will delay, delete the directory along with all the contents that is inside. So now we can just remove this. And if you see ls, there's uh, nothing here now. All right. Lastly, if you're typing out commands and you say, oh, I don't like the, the cluttered look of my terminal, I want to start fresh, you can type this command called clear which will just remove everything and start fresh from the top. So these are the basic terminal commands that allow you to navigate the file system and work with the files in the Unix-like environment such as Mac OS or Linux. Do practice these commands and once you get comfortable, you'll be able to do your work more productively and you'll be able to use the GDAL tools more effectively. That's all for now. Do check the video description for more resources. Thank you.